All right, so here we're not given an explicit sequence. We're given sort of like a recursively defined sequence, um, and we want to prove that the sequence converges. Um, and it's sort of odd they tell us that they want us to prove that um, Sn is less than 2 for all n. Um, I feel like they should have stated that first, because that's something that you need in order to prove convergence. Um, uh, so let's start with that statement. So, um, but yeah, so I, I guess the, the reason that you need it, and sort of what you should be thinking in mind here, is that um, one of our theorems is that if you have a sequence which is monotone and bounded, then the sequence converges. So here, we, they want us to prove that Sn is less than 2, so that means it's bounded. Um, we know that square root of 2 is less than 2, so if it turns out that Sn is increasing, then it's um, monotone and bounded, and therefore it converges. So, um, yeah, we should go ahead and... Um, we should use that as our plan, so... Once we've proven that Sn is less than 2, we should start to think about um, how do we prove that Sn is increasing. But anyway, so to prove that it's always less than 2, um, so we know S1 is set to be root of 2, which is less than 2. By the way, yes, I did finally manage to fix my stylus so I can write and not have to typeset and make errors in the headings of my videos. So yeah. So, S1 is less than 2 if we assume that Sn is less than 2 then square root of Sn is going to be less than square root of 2 so 2 plus square root of Sn is less than 2 plus square root of 2 well I guess we that's, that's sort of straightforward. We could just jump ahead to here. So Sn plus 1, we know by definition that that's 2 plus square root of Sn. That's the square root of this thing. So we know square root of Sn is less than square root of 2, so this thing is going to be less than 2 plus square root of 2, square root of this thing. But now, okay, well square root of 2 is less than 2, so the thing on the inside here is less than 2 plus 2, and that's equal to 2 because that's the square root of 4. Um, so S1 is less than 2, and if Sn is less than 2, then Sn plus 1 is less than 2. Um, thus, by induction, we know that Sn is going to be less than 2 for all n. So, and that's one of the things that we wanted to prove, and that confirms that the sequence is bounded. Um, so yeah, this is sort of interesting because like saying like all this relies on is like so if Sn is less than 2 then the only other thing that we need to use here is the fact that the square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is less than 2. Um, and I don't know, it feels sort of like um, it feels like we were able to get away with a lot here. Um, like this whole like the uh, square root of two plus square root of two is much less than two, so it's it's sort of weird. Usually, if you do an inequality that's this severe, you're go it's too severe, and you're not going to end up with uh, the result that you need. But it worked here magically somehow. Um, anyways, so that's that part. But now what we want to prove is that. Um, the SNs are increasing. And this is a little trickier, but um, if you sort of mess around with things, um, you can get it. And basically what you do is you just do an, an, an induction argument. Um, so you, you basically, like, what you need to prove is you need to have um, SN plus 1 is... We, we need to prove that SN plus 1 is greater than SN, so we need to prove that the square root of 2 plus the square root of SN is greater than uh, Sn. Um, and so this looks a little difficult to work with, but ev eventually, like, if you mess around with it enough, you can figure it out. Um, 
And in fact, the way I was able to get this is probably how you should do this, your um, general mathematical thing, is that you I actually wrote out the first couple terms and got it from there. Um, so like I proved, I wrote out what S2 is, I proved that S2 is greater than S1, which we're going to actually have to prove here. Then I proved that, I wrote out what S3 is, proved that's greater than S2, and then you sort of see the pattern from there. Okay. So anyways, um, we know S1 equals root 2, so S2, which is square root of 2 plus root 2, well, if you remove the thing from inside the square root sign, it's going to get smaller. So S2 is greater than S1. If we assume Sn minus 1 is less than Sn, then we have a whole bunch of um, inequalities that sort of help us out. Um, so we first take the square root of both sides, square root of Sn minus 1 is less than square root of Sn. Um, so then we move uh, everything over to one side and so we get that um, if you subtract the s square root of Sn from both sides you get that 0 is greater than square root of Sn minus 1 minus square root of Sn and then you just add 2 to both sides 2 plus square root of Sn minus 1 minus square root of Sn um, and now this part the 2 plus square root of Sn is equal to Sn squared and why is that? Well, Sn is the square root of 2 plus the square root of Sn minus 1. So this, this thing that I have sort of am uh, highlighting here, um, if you take the square root of this, it's precisely what Sn is by definition. So if you get rid of that square root sign, then that's Sn squared. And from this point, we pretty much have it. Um, because then you move the square root of Sn over to the other side, like this and then you take the square root of both sides of this and get Sn plus um, 1 Sn plus 1 is equal to the square root of 2 plus square root of Sn which is greater than Sn so this this whole this this last inequality that I have here is what you would have started with and you have had to work backwards to get um, uh, to sort of figure out how to um, figure this out. Okay, so S2 is greater than S1, and if Sn is greater than S minus 1, then Sn plus 1 is less than Sn. Thus, by induction, S1 is less than S2, which is less than S3, which is less than etc, etc, etc. This means Sn is uh, monotonic, and in particular it's monotone increasing, and it's also bounded by 2, and it that's, that's really all we need. Because it's monotonic increasing, we only need a bound from above. Of course, it's bounded from below by, well, the first element of the sequence, because it's increasing. And hence, um, by theorem 3.14, I believe it is in the textbook, that a sequence which is bounded and monotone is um, converges a sequence, Sn, converges. So yeah, um, the fact that they wanted us to prove that Sn is less than 2 gave us a hint that this is, that we can prove that this is a bounded sequence, and that leads us to think that we want to prove that it's both monotone and bounded in order to prove that converges. 
And then in order to prove those two facts, you basically just have to do induction arguments. Um, so yeah, that's all we need for this exercise, and so we're done.